Today, we're gonna go over Hoheem's newest phone gimbal, the iSteady X. I'm gonna talk about why it replaced my current or my last travel phone gimbal and also how it made it to my top of the list. So in the box, you do get the phone gimbal itself, the tripod, a wrist strap, a USB-C cable, and a pouch. All of this would cost you about $80 on Amazon, but I do have a $10 Amazon discount code down below, so it will cost you about 70 bucks. I don't know how long this promo code will last, or maybe if you see in the future, hopefully it will still work. Now for the design. This thing is super compact, it's super portable, and I just like how easy it is to use. So how pocketable is this gimbal? For me, in my experience, I would say it is the most comfortable and pocketable phone gimbal that I've ever tried. Mainly it has to do with how slim it is and also the shape, because the shape is more like a candy bar or like a dollar bill so it's really kind of universal in a way where it's kind of made to fit in a lot of areas like our pockets women's clutch purses so it's a really familiar size and shape so i think it would fit almost anywhere easily now using this gimbal is super easy i would say anybody can pick this up and start using it right away because they actually use pictures instead of using like letters like m or s or whatever that people need to read the manual for to know what that mode would need to do so on the front panel one dot means one press two dots mean two press so if you press it once it will change orientation and you can see the picture of that one of the biggest pros for me about this gimbal is it can lift up to 280 grams of payload and for the gimbal itself it weighs 259 grams so it can actually lift up more than it weighs so my current setup was my iphone se which is about 148 grams on top of the rhino shield lens which is about 34 so in total it was about 180 so i am still under the max payload now it was a bit tricky to balance with the wide angle lens but i don't have to be perfect because the motors are still powerful enough to lift it up easily when i had the wide angle lens on or if you have a phone with an ultra wide angle lens it won't show the motor on the side so that's a good thing because you don't have to crop it out later or worry about seeing the motor in your shot all the joints do have locking points which you don't really need to use while you're putting this away but i realized that if i locked all the joints up i can kind of use this as a selfie stick another pro about having the locking joints is that when you're having it off but you're still using it throughout the day you can lock it off and when you're walking around the city it doesn't swing around a lot so it's more comfortable and more secure on the front of the gimbal there is a shutter button for you to use you can actually use that button to take pictures with the stock camera app of your phone when you first get the iSteady X, you would have to download the app to register with them. I know it's a bit inconvenient, but at the same time, it shows me how well or how simple it is their app was. The app wasn't really too complicated. There is a section where you can do these cool preset shots. Now for me, I don't think I would be using this a lot, but maybe if I'm planning to do like this cool Instagram story, maybe to spice things up, that's the only time I would use it. But for normal use, I would most likely use the stock camera app. The gimbal also lets you do really low angle shots, so all you have to do is turn it half circle and then it'll do the automatic underslung mode. Next up is moving into my cons slash improvement, which is really small and not that big, but the first one is having some direction to let me know that which is the right way to lock the points because I'm always trying to look around the gimbal, seeing that if it's the right way so I don't break anything. And this one's a bit personal, just have a trigger button because for me, my hand or my index finger is already back there. It's so comfortable just to click on something. So if I want to center something quickly, I can just do it with my index finger since it's already there. When I shot my cinematic video, which I will upload later on, so subscribe if you want to see that, I noticed that my thumb was reaching backward a lot to reach the shutter button. And doing that once in a while, it's fine. But I noticed that if I'm just doing a lot of video or taking a lot of pictures, my thumb always reaching back there, it starts to hurt a lot. And it's not the gimbal's fault or the button placement because it's already so compact, it's gonna be there anyways. So overall, in my experience, the iSteady X gives me a really compact gimbal with strong motors. I would say this gimbal has a little bit of everything. It's travel friendly, it's great for beginners, and also it's smooth enough to get those cinematic shots. And on top of that, the max payload is 280 grams, which can easily handle the iPhone 11 Pro Max or the newest Samsung S20 Ultra. And those are really big and heavy phones. So this is an all around beast that I would be using for a very long time. Now, if you guys are interested in getting this, I do have the links down below with the $10 discount code. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, give a like, subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell, and thanks for watching.